that little niggling of a thought coming up um, about the familiar, that, that really is a good summary of the human condition. You know, even if there's this feeling that there's something vast and enormous and spectacular, uh, the only thing that the ego has to offer is the familiar. Because mm -hmm. the ego will say that the vast and, and spectacular is the unknown. Mm -hmm. And the familiar is the known. And that's exactly what we explored this afternoon. The, the I know mind that thinks it knows something, anything about this world, is also the mind, the same mind that holds opinions. It's the same mind that has judgments. It's the same mind that makes comparisons. So, you know, um, it's, it seems to the ego like that's a leap that it doesn't want you to make. It doesn't want you to open up to something that's totally brand new. It's unlike anything of this world mm -hmm. that it calls the unknown. That's the scary thing. And there's some kind of safety in familiarity. And yet I think for most of us we've also found a sense of, of boredom in the familiarity. We found a sense of lethargy, a sense of laziness, a sense of somehow there's something keeping us down from our full potential. Something that's holding us back from this bursting love. Because we've had glimmers of it, but we have also this sense like, wow, I like that glimpse, why can't this always be the way that life is? Why can't life be actually fun? You know, why is there just bits and pieces of fun? Why can't life always be fun? And the answer from the Spirit is, it is, it can, it, it is the reality. But we do have to let go of the past associations, the, the familiar. And we have to do it to open up, open our hearts up to something that's much greater than anything that we've ever experienced on earth. And we know that it's there. There's something inside our hearts that actually knows it's there. We can feel it, but it's almost like we're under glass or something, you know. It's like we're kept from it. We, but we know, we've had enough of an experience to know that there's something more. Most everybody has said at one time in their life, there's got to be something more, in talking about it in terms of awareness. And we've even seen shifts in our awareness that, that get more expansive, that have wider vistas bigger horizon, so we, we know that we're on to something big. So Armel was talking about trust, and I would say that trust, as we really learn to really choose to trust, that gives us the strength to start to let go of some of the, the old familiar patterns, and to open up to something that's much, much higher, much, much broader than that. And we've all gone through that. I, I remember in the parable of David, I was very quiet and shy and was voted most quiet in my senior class and, and really stayed away from relationships, stayed away from social interactions, just kind of, I, it was a bit of an aloofness that was part of that shyness, you know, like a protectionism, like don't get too close, don't get too close to me. I, I, I wanted to feel safe and I, I really clung to that, and then when I started to get into spirituality, the Course and so forth, I felt my heart opening up really in a, in a deeply passionate way, and something inside went, this feels really good, I want to go with this, I like how it feels when my heart opens. Mm -hmm. So I think it's a very subtle question, you felt a, a peace come over you, you had those things going on today and then all of a sudden that, that dissipated and was gone, and then that is there anything stopping me from staying in this state? And then that little niggling thought was, well, it's, there's some things that are familiar. Will, will that disappear, you know? Will, what, will my safe world disappear if I fully open my heart up? And, and I, I'm aware that the way that I once saw the world, you know, has disappeared. Now I don't, I can't even relate 